All right, so in this video, I'm going to be solving the equation 4 to the power of x minus 2 to the power of x is equal to 240. So to solve this, what I'm first going to do is rewrite 4 here as 2 squared. So I have 2 squared to the power of x minus 2 to the power of x is equal to 240. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of n to the power of n. So 2 to the power of 2 to the power of x is going to equal 2 to the power of x to the power of 2. And I have this minus 2 to the power of x is equal to 240. So now from here, I'm going to let 2 to the power of x equal to the variable y. And if I substitute in y for 2 to the power of x, I get y squared minus y is equal to 240. And now I can subtract 240 on both sides. So I get y squared minus y minus 240 is equal to 0. Now, I can use the quadratic formula to find the value of y. So the quadratic formula is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So in this case, a is 1, b is negative 1, and c is negative 240. So I get y is equal to negative of negative 1 plus or minus the square root of negative 1 squared, which is 1 minus 4 times a times c, which is negative 240, all over 2 times 1. And this is equal to 1 plus or minus the square root of 1 plus 960 over 2 which is equal to one plus or minus the square root of 961 over two. Now, the square root of 961 is equal to 31. So I get y equals one plus or minus 31 over two. And this gives me two solutions. I get y equals one plus 31 over two and y equals 1 minus 31 over 2. So 1 plus 31 is 32. 32 over 2 is 16. So this is one solution of y. And 1 minus 31 is negative 30. And negative 30 over 2 is negative 15. So I have y equals 16 and y equals negative 15. So now going back, I let, remember how I let 2 to the power of x equal to y, meaning 2 to the power of x is equal to 16, and 2 to the power of x is equal to 15. Oh, sorry, negative 15. Now, we can't solve the second equation over here because we can't take the power of a positive number and make it equal negative. So there's no solution to that. So now all I'm left with is 2 to the power of x is equal to 16. And to solve this, I'm going to rewrite 16 as 2 to the power of 4, meaning these two exponents are equal to each other and x is equal to 4. So this is my solution to this problem. Make sure to hit the likes button and subscribe. Thank you.